Do you know my term one board exams are coming up very soon. The exam pattern is completely different this year with multiple choice questions. I can't even use previous year's question papers. How should I prepare? What should I do? Oh, I'm so confused. Don't worry. Take a deep breath, relax and watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to be giving you simple and practical tips on how you can prepare for your term one board exams. And be sure to watch the entire video since these tips are going to be super useful and will really help you in your exam preparation. So are you ready? Let's get started. Tip number one, prepare like Olympic champions. Just like Olympic champions prepare for the grand finale, you should also mentally prepare yourself for the final exam. I know the exam pattern is completely new this time with only MCQ questions in the term one exams. So you can't use the previous year's question papers. But don't worry, you can get sample question papers for the term one exams. I know there are lots of books available in the market with sample question papers. Out of all those books, I would highly recommend the Oswald Books CBSE sample question papers. Since these question papers are well designed and the answers are to the point and correct. They have 10 sample question papers included in this book, including the one issued by the CBSE board. The OMR sheet is also included. So you get all the latest stuff and that will give you a good idea of what to expect in the term one paper. So you won't be in for a big surprise. The books also have mind maps and chapter revision notes. So I think they are perfect for your term one preparation. So do check out the Oswald books CBSE sample question papers. I'll put the links to the books below. So remember tip number one, prepare like Olympic champions. Tip number two, failing to plan is planning to fail. This is one of my favorite quotes on planning. Planning is super important. Since you have about two months left before your final exam, divide it into two parts. The first one month, complete the full syllabus in all your subjects. And the second month should be kept for revision. In the first month where you're completing the syllabus, do all the difficult chapters first that you haven't prepared yet or you're not confident of. Once the difficult stuff is out of the way, you will feel relaxed and confident. In the second month, revise your syllabus and practice lot of MCQ papers. Keep a day for each subject. Don't revise a subject for a week and then forget all about it. Keep in touch with each and every subject. So remember, planning is the key and it is super important. Tip number three. Mark the details for your revision. The best thing about MCQ exams is that you're not going to be asked long theory questions that you need to write. So you don't have to worry about memorizing long answers. But concepts and details are very important. For example, they won't ask you to explain in detail how a rainbow is formed. But they can ask you conceptual questions like to identify the phenomena involved in rainbows. For example, dispersion of light, refraction of light and total internal reflection of light. So you have to remember all these terms. So remember to mark and underline them when you're reading them in your books so that you can easily revise it during the last week or the day before your exams. So remember, mark the details. And to help you get your concepts crystal clear, do check out the courses on our website, manochaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. We also have our Android app. And these courses are going to really help you get your concepts crystal clear. Tip number four, get in the zone. All sportsmen and athletes talk about getting in the zone. Now, what exactly is this zone? Zone is that state of supreme focus that helps athletes perform at their peak potential. Zone is not a mysterious thing. We also enter a zone when we are completely involved in something. I'm sure you've experienced it while you're studying, playing a game 
dancing or doing your favorite activity. The mind is fully alert, relaxed and involved. Now, how do you regularly enter this zone state while studying? It's simple. Remove the distractions like your phone, food or anything which disturbs you. Have a good night's sleep and focus on what you're doing. The mind will slowly and automatically slip into the zone state. Don't force the mind and you will see that you will enjoy studying and will study more efficiently when you're in the zone. So remember this tip and try to regularly enter the zone. Tip number five, be consistent in studying and relaxing. That's right. Consistency is important while studying for your exams and also for relaxation. Study every day consistently based on your timetable and then relax at the end of the day before going to bed. You can listen to some music or read a book. Get away from the screen. Take your mind away from your studies for some time. So you'll feel refreshed when you wake up the next day. You can also keep the end of the week like Sunday evenings for relaxation so that your batteries are completely charged up for next week's work. So remember, studying and relaxation both are important because life is all about balance. Tip number six is variety, variety and variety. Practice a variety of questions. For example, let's say you're preparing the refraction of light chapter in physics. Then make sure to practice a convex lens sum, one on concave lens, and then sums on the different refractive index formulas. That way you can quickly cover and revise the chapter with minimum number of questions. Because in the term one MCQ exam, there's going to be a lot of variety of questions covering the entire syllabus. So remember to be efficient and practice a variety of questions so that you can cover the entire syllabus. Tip number seven, don't ignore diagrams. I know in MCQ exam, you won't have to draw diagrams. So many students are ignoring the diagrams, but diagrams are super important because you can get questions asking you to label the parts in the diagram or questions based on understanding what is happening in the diagram. So make sure you read and understand the science diagrams. And it always helps to quickly draw a rough sketch so that you will remember the diagram. So remember, don't ignore diagrams. And now for my final tip, which is your goal should be doing your best. Just like the coaches tell athletes, don't focus on the Olympic medals. Similarly, don't focus on your marks. Focus on giving your best because nothing beats self-satisfaction. When you know that you have tried and given your best, you will truly be happy and satisfied. So make that your goal and go and give it your best shot. Here's a quick recap of the exam preparation tips that we discussed. Do let me know which is your favorite tip by putting it in the comments below. And do check out the Oswal Books CBSE sample question papers. I'll put the links to the books below. I hope you found this video useful and I'm sure if you apply these tips, they will really help you in your board exam preparation. So wishing you all the very best. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? please hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And also do check out the courses on our website, manochaacademy.com. And we also have our Android app, Manocha Academy. We have courses on physics, chemistry, biology, maths, and computer coding. So do check them out. I'll put the links below. So once again, wishing you all the very best for your exams. Thanks for watching and sharing.